Hello YouTube. I'm doing this video because I nearly made a mistake that would have lost me 40% on my solar power. So I was adding extra panels and I thought that was going to help because I was doubling the power. And if I'd made this mistake, it would have been pretty bad. And I could have made it quite easily. So this is my old setup. And I need to say, I'm not an expert in this. This is just so that anyone else can maybe benefit from the mistake I nearly made and not do it. I'm leaving links to uh, other channels that know much more about this and a channel in particular that helped me understand where I was going to go wrong. So here, uh, here I am on my old setup. I have 120 watts on the big panel and 80 watts on the smaller panel wired together together in parallel and that gives me 200 watts so parallel is you know positive to positives and negatives to negatives this is my new setup I've got two 160 watt panels on the back and then I've put the old 80 watt panel on the front so in my mind 160 watts 160 watts 80 watts equals 400 watts well, it doesn't unless you wire it up correctly and have the right charge controller. So on the back of your panels, there's numbers that matter. And the, the ones that matter in this case are the VMP, which is the maximum voltage that it will output, and the IMP, which is the maximum amps it will output. Now, in parallel, you will you look at the voltages and you take the lowest voltage for your calculation uh, but for parallel and amps you add them together so in this case I added all the amps to get to 22.17 now the problem is my charge controller will take 75 volts uh, and 15 amps but I did read up and I knew that it, it would just burn off the amps after 15 it doesn't cause any problem apparently it just means it, it you don't benefit from the extra amps whereas if you go over the voltage the 75 volts then you do cause damage so with this scenario I was fine I just thought well I won't get the full power out of it but then when you realize you have to times volts and amps together to find out what watts you get um, I did that and it comes at 394.63 watts so it's very close to 400 I would have been happy with that but then when I thought about the restriction of the charge controller it brings it down to 267 watts so I'll have wasted time really uh, just to get another 67 watts over the old setup uh, so it doesn't make sense does it really to, to lose that power so I looked at it in series and in series you add up the voltages uh, but take the lowest amp rating. So in this case it's 54 volts and 4.9 amps and if it times that together to get the watts that's going to give me 242 watts so still terrible. So the other option would be series parallel. Um, and you add up the voltage with this setup and use the lowest amps which is 4.49 and 54 volts again it's the same scenario so there's, there's no way around it really with that one charge controller so the solution is to either buy a bigger charge controller or have an extra charge controller now because I already had a charge controller I didn't want to bin that and just get a, a bigger one so I just bought an extra one and then what I was able to do is make uh, one sort of string of two panels which my 160 watt panels and put them into series that then gives me uh, 36.2 volts and 8.84 amps which comes to 320 watts on the second string there's just the one panel and that gives me 80 watts so the conclusion was with the two controllers I get the full 400 watts of power 
and that's the most efficient way. And if I hadn't really looked at that and worked out the numbers, I would have just stuck the panels on, wired them in parallel and been none the wiser. So it's worth looking into this before you do it. Uh, so I hope that was helpful to somebody. I hope I explained it as well as I could do. Um, it's, it's a mind-boggling subject for me, this. So I hope it was useful to somebody. And as I say, check out the links to the people that know much more about this than I do. Hello again. Now, you may or you may not be aware of the fact that my job is as a composer and an audio producer. So I'm self-employed and I spend most of my time creating and editing music. It uh, is a competitive industry, so I have to keep busy. If you would like five free tracks, completely free, the link is below in the description. Please go and grab those. And also, if you'd have a listen to some of the other music, and if you think you could use it in your videos or your productions, and you'd like to support me as an independent composer, that would be fantastic. The prices are reasonable for personal use and uh, YouTube use and the prices go all the way up to more costly fees for businesses and advertisers. But if you're on a budget as well, you can get in touch with me and I'll see what I can do. Check the links below to get your free tracks and uh, have a listen to my other tracks if you would. Brilliant, thank you.